our final video for the class. This will be lesson six. So lesson six, we will need some more culvert data. And again, it's in the tables and the culvert name is important. And two of these we can skip because we already did them in lesson two. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, we have an export folder and a debug folder. See how both of these work. And uh, we have this hydraulic structure shape file. So what I have is the data from lesson four. We're going to skip lesson five because it's just a real-time rainfall and it's pretty easy to do, but maybe more difficult to build the data. All right, so we'll turn off the walls and we'll turn off the levee lines. Yeah, we want to, some of these structures are going to be to interfere with our levees, but uh, we we need the levees on, not the levee lines. And we don't need the hydraulic structures. So I'm sorry, I meant storm drains. So we'll turn off the storm drains and we'll turn off the nodes and we'll turn off the schema storm drains. All right, so that looks much better. Computational domain, zoom to layer. And uh, let me see, let's get to the manual because I can't quite remember the process. So we only need the um, hydraulic structure shapefile and the culvert tables data. Let's get to the step-by-step. -step. Open lesson two, three, or four. You have to have the channel in here to do this one. Import the hydraulic structure shapefile. Um, build the structures into the user layers. Assign the structure attributes. Okay, build the structure into the user layers. This will be good practice on digitizing. Assign the structure attributes, assign the rating tables, and schematize the data, export, and run. So this is not, this one's confusing, but not super difficult. So we already loaded all the data, and uh, have a backup point for everything that we've loaded. So it says uncheck schema layers, uncheck blocked areas, uncheck storm drain, uncheck boundary conditions and then drag the hydraulic structures onto the map, which we've already done. We've already unchecked all those layers. Um, open the attribute table and select the structures 130 and 131. Those will be the first two structures that we build. And this is what the structure table looks like. And um, so let's just show you how to do this. Oh, and then we're gonna turn the labels on. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. And back up here on our structure layer, we will right click this and open the attribute table. And as you can see down here, we have structure number one, sorry, FID 130, 130 and 131. Uh, and that's the structure name is 128 and 129. That's important. And they are a, uh, let's see, floodplain to floodplain, that's zero. I curve table, it's a rating table. In out condition is zero, head reference elevation zero, 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 zero. Okay, the rest of that information is zero. So all the info you need to build the tables is in here, but you'll have to kind of just remember this data is here. So we'll leave this table open, but we'll move it out of the way. And now, oh, next thing to do is to name the layers. So double click this layer and go to labels. That's in the gray areas, labels, and then single labels, we'll choose single labels. It picks automatically structure name, which is nice, uh, but if you didn't get that, go to structure name. And uh, I don't think we need the scale visibility. I think we can just, let's just see what it does. Let's click apply and see if they come up. Well, let's click apply and then I'll zoom in and out and then see if they come up. Okay, yeah, you gotta zoom, you definitely have to zoom in. Okay, so that um, those first ones were over here. The ones that actually, I'm gonna try something else. So every time you bring something in, it kind of like it, it's hard to see if you don't maybe uh, change the symbology a little. So I'm gonna double click that again, and I'm just gonna change that line thickness to um, 0.5. Let's see if that's better. And then zoom out, zoom in. Well, did that even work? Okay, go simple line, line thickness, 
Uh, Should have worked. Let's give it a one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So this is um, 129 and 128. So the simple procedure to create these is very easy. But first of all, let's get back to our document. We did the labeling. And now we are going to use the structure editor and the digitizing tool to basically copy each of these layers. So you'll have to kind of follow the video to get your upstream to downstream. Um, because the flow direction would not be that vis would not be that uh, you wouldn't really know the flow direction unless you knew the project. Um, so that that's an issue. Okay, so let's go over here to the structure editor, and we'll click the digitizing tool, and we'll uh, turn on the um, snapping tool. And if you don't see that, right click down to toolbars, and you should see snapping right here. Okay, oops, I messed that one up. So I hit escape too, so I can then click, click, right click, okay. And I know my flow direction is this way on this one. So on this one, be careful, you don't snap to that. Click, click, right click, okay. Those two are done. I'm just gonna go, maybe go to the next one. Here's one, click, click right click okay and then the rest of them are all down here uh, so on these be careful to make sure you click the schematized right bank so this is the upstream end and the downstream end even though it's actually the culvert actually um, flows to the uh, through in through the right bank we're going to feed it to the cross section we always the cross section is always assigned to the left bank. So we'll pick up the left bank, right click, OK. And we're going to do that several more times. Now we already did these ones, you can see they're already in. So click upstream, click downstream, make sure you're on. Actually, in this case, ah, cancel. Let me redo this one. Uh, I'm going to click and then I'm going to. And, and then I'm gonna click, right click, okay, because I got it, I wanted it right there. Same thing here. We'll click and then right click right there, and then sorry, left click there and then right click, okay. And oh that doesn't might need to fix that. Okay, click ooh, that this one might be on the wrong. We might need to check the location of this cell. Click and uh, click and right click. Okay, and that should be the last one, I think. Yeah, that's the last one. All right, so then I come back over here to the structure editor and I click save and that will load all the data. Now remember the center tool will move you between the structures so that when you start naming them and filling them out, this is when this guy over here is handy. So just have this kind of available you can even dock this like down here if you want or dock it usually you can dock it it doesn't seem to want to dock oh i know how i have to dock it if you want to dock it you have to dock it with this guy okay so i docked it and then i'll just close it when i'm finished with it okay let's go here and we have culvert 009 so that's this guy right here and then we'll just grab the information for that so first of all let's actually I'm sorry, let me get to that right one. Two, three, yeah, there it is. Okay, so that was structure five. And and we edit and we just, I'm gonna turn my caps on, C-U-L-V underscore zero zero nine. I just grab that exact name right there. And then I'm gonna take that right here and copy that and click okay. That is floodplain to floodplain, so that one's fine. And this one just changed to rating table. The rest is fine. Then we can go to the next one. Structure three is 129. So we come down here to 129. And same thing, floodplain to floodplain is the exact same thing. So rename, paste, uh, 129, enter. 
floodplain to floodplain rating table. Um, just move down till you get one that you haven't named yet. Um, wait a sec, what did I just do? Wait a sec. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I named that the wrong way. That one should be 128. 128. Okay, let me get... Okay, here's 129. And floodplain to floodplain, rating table. And then we move to the next one. And I'm just using my roller wheel to move between these. Structure six is 069. So name, I got that in my uh, clipboard so I can just paste it in there. This one is different. This one's a floodplain to channel. See, it's going from the floodplain to the channel. And it's a rating table. And then we go to the next one. Let's. Structure seven is zero seven zero. So edit, paste. Uh, what is that? Zero seven zero seven zero. Okay, that is floodplain to channel, rating table, and then we got this one here, one twenty five, and that is floodplain to channel and rating table. And the next one should be nine. Okay, let's get me uh, 126. Flip plane to channel, reading table, and just check that you did all of them. And then remember that these two are already done. And then click, wait. Do we schematize it or do we import the rating tables first? I'm not sure that it matters. I don't think it matters. Okay, so I clicked the import rating tables button because now I got to fill up the rating tables for all those. Go back to lesson six, uh, go to culvert tables, and then we probably just need all of them except these two, but you could pick all of them and it would just ignore these two. So if I click, uh, I don't know, I'll just, I, don't, I honestly don't think it matters, but I'm just going to do it this way. Click open. And it's done. Uh, and how can you tell that it's done? So now if I close this uh, table here, I don't need it anymore. I can switch. I can go to the top. And you can see that 9 has data. Uh, the next one, 69, has data. 70, 125, 126, 128, 129. This one was the one we had before, so see it changed to rating table Greenway 1 and Greenway 2. So they all have data. And I did, again, don't mess with any of these in until, until you've taken the full lesson and you know how to set these up. The, for the class, for the basic class, it's more about learning how to use uh, QGIS than it is about setting up those hydraulic structures. Okay, so we don't need those anymore. and Let's get back to the book because I can't remember what the next step is. Okay, we assigned the structures and we hit save. We changed all the names and we changed all of the uh, categories and set them all to rating table. Oh, schematize. Oh, okay, that's cool. I scheme. I did a schematize before I imported. Oh, so it doesn't really matter then. That's good. Okay, good. That's good. So I'm going to schematize now. And um, that will convert my um, user layers to the Flow2D layers. So if you turn the grid back on, they kind of make a bit more sense. Uh, so you can see that they are always to the center of the grid. And the rest of the lecture on hydraulic structures will make these more, make more sense. Let's see. Zoom to layer. Okay. Now, I do not. What is on? Something seems to be on. I guess it's just the grid. Um, okay. Let me go back to the book because I think it's time to export. The switch is already on. That's good. We don't have to put the switch on. We know it's already on. Save the project. Export the data to lesson six and then export the SWIM INP again and then run the simulation.
and that's it that's the last thing to do okay so very simple save uh, just make sure that's on it's fine export okay go back to lesson six and select it and then click OK and then I, I the last time I used the copy paste method this time I'll use the save the export file and we'll take that to lesson six and uh, let's see okay and okay I don't need it oops I don't need to change anything in here I'm perfectly happy with the way that's set up and click OK I guess okay okay and now we can try to run it so run and then uh, okay that's ready it's in the right location click OK that should start the run and if nothing's wrong with it we should be good to go okay now let's take a quick look at the data files um, for lesson six and we have type oh it was already to type nice change basically just the high struct dot dat so I'll open that with notepad plus plus and we'll just close these channel files and um, you can see that we got the green way from lesson one or lesson two sorry and that's did not change and uh, culvert 128 and it is floodplain to floodplain table rating table upstream node downstream node and then we aren't using the rest of these culvert 129 still floodplain to floodplain rating table same information uh, nine is also that now here's our first one that is a floodplain to channel and as you can see it's a number two and everything else is kind of the same those three are all floodplain to channel and that's it so if you're missing one or some of this data looks like it's not imported correctly uh, you can go back into QGIS and fix it and export it again now you may have seen that I already have uh, something set up in my lesson six for a debug so I will make a new debug video and we'll, we'll use this folder during the debug video okay so good luck with the class if I if you catch this uh, after the class has already started good luck with the class and I'll stop this recording and upload this to the class folder